Well, I guess there's a sense that you're due a little bit of luck, aren't you? I mean, you seem to have your fair share, more than your fair share of uh, misfortunes so far this season. Well, it's been obviously a disappointing start to the season. You know, we expected, and I did expect the whole squad to be healthy, and I think we'd be, it would be showing on the points, points we would have, would have had. That we wouldn't be in the position we are at this minute in time. So we've got to get them back as quickly as possible. Two of them come back into contention for Saturday. I've got to deliberate whether they come back into straight into the games or whether. I break them in gently, so that's a decision that will be made, yeah. Yeah, how difficult is that in, in terms of making that decision? Because obviously you don't want to bring them back too soon, do you? Because of risk of them re-aggravating the injuries and so on. Well, if, they, if they're needing games, how do they give them games? That's the first problem. There's very few teams give them, asking for friendlies at this minute mm. in time, so it's a real catch-22 situation I'm in. I've got three games in nine days coming up. I've uh, got uh, you know, Port Portsmouth and Coventry, the first two, and then Dagenham at home. So, you know, in the end, I've got to try and share out the load and try and get some of them back match fit. Mm -hmm. And other ones, uh, you know, maybe spell them and bring them back a wee, wee bit gentler, off the bench maybe, you know. So it's, it's, it's a hard one at this minute. Yeah, and in terms of game, you mentioned Portsmouth there. Um, is it a good time to be playing them? They lost their first game, didn't they, midweek? Does that make them maybe a wounded and a more dangerous team to be playing? I think a dangerous team to be playing and the support that will be being for success. You know, they have, they've got a huge support, that will make great noise for them. And, you know, they've got some good players, a good manager who's got, got his shape right again. And, uh, you know, they'll be up in the top three or four most of the season. So it's going to be a dangerous game for us. Yeah. Can you use the extra template in any way to, to help you perhaps prepare for the game? Well, we'll have watched it. watched them <coughs> the last week two or three times and, you know, they missed a lot of chances. I mean, at the end of the day, they came out the wrong end. So they'll be up for it big time. Their manager will make sure of that. Uh, so we've got to be starting better than we did in, on Tuesday night. You know, the, the big disappointment for me on Tuesday was our first 15 minutes set the tone for the rest of the game. We got, we got back in it again and then obviously it was a bit of a goal we, we lost to, to lose the game. But, um, you know, the games have been so tight, you know, they went either way in the last two or three. That's the disappointment for me that we haven't grabbed the, the nail and and got that second goal. Yeah, and, and playing a team like Portsmouth, I mean, if you come away with three points from that one, it'd be a massive uh, boost, wouldn't it, for the players? It, it could be, you know, just a sort of a catalyst to kickstart the season. Yeah, we have to have something to kickstart our season. Uh, with these boys coming back, I hope it'll, it'll trigger the, the results, mm. which will then kick us in the right direction. But uh, the next two games is quite important. You know, the Coventry want to, want to win, obviously. It's a cup tie. We'll play a strong team, but yeah, you know, at the same time there'll be one or two that maybe coming back from injury, or maybe need the game to you know. But then it's Saturday, Tuesday. That's that's been Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So I don't want to cause problems to some that haven't you know some haven't had pre-season yet. So it's weighing up you know the. the the best course of action to get them back as quickly as possible. Yeah, and in, and in terms of the fans, you'd imagine there's going to be a fair few Yeovil fans that will want to go to Portsmouth, which will be good for you. Yeah, it's great. The fan, the fans have been fantastic. You know, it's 50 hardy souls were up at uh, Accrington the other night there. You know, so you know, the way support is important to me. Yeah, they, they are the real, the real, the real fan. You know, and that's not be little in any way that our home support, but. Mm. You know, it takes a lot to go on a Tuesday, straight after work. Some take half days to get up there. You know, so, you know, it's, I'm, a, I'm always in awe of people who support football teams and have that commitment. Mm -hmm. And then the atmosphere, what sort of atmosphere are you expecting at Fratton Park? Well, you know, I used to manage Southampton, so that's the first, <laughs> that's the first problem I've got. I'm saying uh, the first time I ever went there was after my appointment at Southampton that night. To be to be uh, ushered down a corridor, spit all wall down the front of my jacket. I don't think it'll be as bad as that this time. But you know, at the end of the day, they're the, 
had a hardy bunch. And I'm saying, and back the team to the hilt, and there's a goal to start. Sometimes, you know, if if, he, if if we can keep them, turn them against their, their own team, you know, that's, you know, the only way we can do that has been really, really, really top of our game. Yeah, and just finally, Portsmouth are pretty much everyone's favourites, aren't they, to, to get promotion this season? Would you expect them uh, to be in the mix at the end of it? Yeah, yes, because there'll be one team we can strengthen again in the in the windows, you know. So, mm. so that's you know they'll be looking and seeing where they finish in the first the first half of the season. When the windows come about, then obviously they'll they'll add and, and you know re rejig their squad. Where the vast majority of us will have to go what we've got. But you know, I'm hoping that it's like having brand new players. Texas played one game. I think uh, I don't think Woody Cox has been much more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Laird, uh, Fogden, uh, Mr. Long Compton's missed most of the season. Toza, we haven't seen you. Toza, we haven't seen you. So you know, there's all these different developments. It's, it's hard to get it to get the right mix. You know, do I do I start them and then die a death? Mm-hmm. Or do I uh, wait until the the substitutions need done and then put them on? Now, do they get any fit? fit how quickly do they get fit being, being a sub, having 20 minutes or starting the game, you know? What do I do in midweek between the games to get, you know, to, do I run them and they find out they got another injury of some sort because they overextend themselves? Oh, who'd be a manager? <laughs>